narrative. On Sunday, 23rd March, 2008, at 1330 hours, a man called Joseph Alba entered police station number seven and said that a group of stray dogs had attacked his son, John. The son had been taken to the hospital for treatment and the police officers shot the dogs later that day. On Monday, the 24th of March, 2008, at 1300 hours, about 50 people assembled outside the main police headquarters protesting against the situation in the city regarding stray dogs. Miss Elizabeth Johnson, a primary school teacher, was the leader of the demonstration. She had witnessed the incident with the boy and the dogs and was called in for a statement. She came to the Monrovia Police Station number two on Tuesday, the 25th of March, 2008, at 1000 hours to give her witness statement. She confirmed that she was the founder and the leader of the organization People Against Dogs, or PAD which was responsible for the demonstration the day before. The organization was established in 2006 to fight against the stray dog situation in the city, which has been threatening the safety of its inhabitants. Ms. Johnson was also concerned about the dog's welfare and questioned why the police consistently responded to these incidents by killing them. She was of the opinion that the police had more important things to do and that the problem with the aggressive dogs was more of a community responsibility. Lack of trash services as well as the absence of dog shelters and poor veterinary services were the main reasons for problems with the stray dogs. Her organization delivered three petitions to the office of the city mayor on the issue in the past. Ms. Johnson further stated that she had witnessed the situation with John Alba and the dogs on Sunday. All three dogs had been dirty and in a generally poor state. It seemed to her that the dogs thought the boy had brought them food in the plastic bag he was carrying. When they understood that he did not bring them anything, they attacked the boy and seriously bit him in the face and on his body. She noticed that the ambulance came and took the boy to the hospital. She learned later that the police killed the three dogs without trying to catch them and bring them to the veterinarian. She clearly stated that the police should be more observant towards the local people and how they treated the dogs in the city and cooperate with the community to find better solutions. Dialogue Police officer, please state your name. Witness, my name is Elizabeth Johnson. What is your profession? I am a school teacher at Monrovia Primary School. On Sunday, 23rd March, you witnessed a dog attack on a local boy. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Can you please describe what you saw? I was out walking to get some fresh air. I was on Low Street when I saw a little boy coming out from his house with a red ball in his hands and a plastic bag. What happened then? Three dirty stray dogs approached him, most likely to get food. The boy did not have any food for the dogs, so the dogs approached him and attacked him. 
Was the boy injured? Yes. To my knowledge, he was bitten on his face and arms. I saw an ambulance taking him away from the scene. Yesterday, you also attended a demonstration outside the main police headquarters related to the case. Tell me the reason behind this demonstration. I am the leader of the People Against Dogs, or PAD, which is an association founded in 2006. I've experienced an increasing problem in Monrovia of stray dogs threatening the citizens, and so I established this organization. Do you know why Monrovia has these issues? I believe there are three main reasons for that. It is the lack of trash services, the absence of dog shelters, and poor veterinary services. Have you witnessed similar situations in the past? This happens almost every day. And in my opinion, the police have better things to do other than responding to situations like this. Was that the reason for the demonstration as well? Yes. We want to emphasize that it is community responsibility to improve the situation and to prevent further dog attacks on our citizens. We have already submitted three petitions to the Office of City Mayor with no result. Thank you for your assistance. We will take up this matter seriously and follow up with the Mayor's Office from our side.